Hi, welcome to Playing Games. I'm Chris, and today we're going to unbox some playing cards. This video is a continuing look at the Italian regional card decks. Over the course of 16 short videos, I will be opening all of the Italian regional packs, and we'll go over what makes these unique masterpieces tick. Let's go! Today we're going to open the Piacentine Italian card deck. So here we have a great deck, one of the two most emblematic Italian card decks in the whole of Italy, the Piacentine deck. It's really beautiful in my opinion. Many Italians will tell you that the Neapolitan deck is the most popular in Italy, but in my research and experience, this is likely the most played deck. The only way we can really settle this is by getting some info from the card makers themselves. Dal Negro, are you there? Modiano? Let us know, which do you sell more of? The Neapolitan or the Piacentine decks? Let's settle this. Right away we can see that this is a Spanish suited 40 card deck. The suits are the coins, the swords, the cups, and the clubs. The artwork is very clear and the color mixing is superb. Even the multicolored ace of clubs looks nice. Just look at the ground details. This deck belongs to the small town of Piacenza and really the whole of Italy. Now, I really didn't need to buy another one of these decks. I just wanted to have a new one for the sake of this video. They're so easy to get. I probably have five of these decks now. And I have the Modiano version here. You can also get the Del Negro version. I think I have an older deck here. With the Piacentine deck, I prefer the Del Negro over the Modiano brands. And that's because the cards are more detailed. You can see finer brush strokes in the artwork, more details in the court cards and the aces. Overall, just a nicer card. You can see here in the King of Soldi, the difference. There's much more detail on the Del Negro King than the Modiano King. If you want a prettier looking card, I'd go with Del Negro. The Modianos are totally fine. They look good. They're just a little bit less detailed. The court cards are mirrored, meaning they have the same top and bottom. The stamp tax would have been on the Ace of Coins. The card size is 50 by 94 millimeters. This deck probably came from the late 1700s. You may have seen me use the Piacentine deck on one of these videos. That's just because they're so common. And when people think of an Italian deck of cards, they think usually of the Piacentine and sometimes of the Neapolitan one. I actually bought this one in Rome this summer. Shout out to Alsonia, which is a toy store located in Rome near the Piazza Navona. I spoke to one of the owners, Andrea, who understood my quest. Although he didn't carry any decks that I needed, he did give me this awesome little mini Piacentine deck. So fun and it was so great to travel with. We played a ton of games, a lot of Cuckoo, a lot of Briscola, some TVT. Look at these little guys. These are Piacentine to a T and they're just little tiny cards. They're 47 wide and about 70 millimeters tall. Here's the difference between the mini and the regular size. The town of Piacenza was under the control of the French around the same time as the production of Italy's French suited decks in the nearby regions. However, they resisted the French suits and allied with the Sardinians in making more pleasing Spanish suited decks. The artist behind this deck was quite good. I believe his name was Lantanzio Lamperti. Despite the Piacentine deck being clearer than most other Italian decks, there are still a few cards which newbies find troubling. The kings and fantes can certainly trip you up. Just remember that the kings have crowns on their heads, and the fantes, jacks, do not. The fante of clubs is tricky though. He or she has a crown on their club, but a crown on your club a king does not make. The gender of the court card seems a bit ambiguous too. A few are clearly men, but many of the fantes and rays could very well be women. Since there is no designated queen card in this Spanish suited deck, you could consider the king female or male. They're worth the same either way. And are these sons or coins? Well, I guess both. In some older decks, they are clearly sons. In others, they are clearly coins. I remember in the first season of the old version of DuckTales, Scrooge McDuck was after the Golden Sun Coins. Disney Afternoon can't be wrong. You can tell how much I love their style by how many decks I have and just how worn out they are. I know I'm not alone, the Piacentine deck is favored throughout Italy and well beyond its borders. They seem to be the easiest to find and buy. The Romans tried to produce their own regional deck, but it was abandoned after a few decades due to the low sales and the dominance of this deck. I've never been to Piacenza, but the name means pleasant place, and this deck is the most pleasant of all the Italian decks. And perhaps it's the best deck in the world. After the Sicilian, of course. Information is scant when it comes to the regional decks, so if you're from the Piacentine region, or you know a lot about this deck, or if you think it's the best deck, please share what you know in the comments, and I'll do my best to help keep that knowledge alive. 
This is just one of Italy's many regional decks, and you can see all the others right here on Play and Games. Please comment, like, and subscribe to help this channel grow. Also help support the hard work that goes into these videos by digitally donating. You are great. Thanks.